first thing I wanted to talk about this time was um, in in Peru, which is in South America. Um, mm-hmm. We often think about like in archaeological time, you know, the Inca and their really awesome civilization that we had there, mostly because for us in the West, when this, the Spanish came over, that's who they encountered. But there was a lot of different civilizations up and down the coast of Peru well before this. Mm-hmm. And um, we recently discovered a temple in this region from the, um, try to pronounce this right, the Kupasnika people. And, and I, I'm, I'm, that's my best. I'm awful. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't I, complain. I, yeah, I I'm believe, I believe it's Kupasnika, but I could be wrong. Apologies for that. But the important part is um, this farmer was at, excava- excavating um, somewhat clumsily to build his new farmland. And he uncovered this temple. And on this temple, there was a 3,200 year old giant spider painted on the side of it. That was holding a knife in one of its hands. <laughs> yeah, which is a, a pretty awesome god. Yeah. If that's indeed what it is. Um, we can't see all eight of its arms, so he may have had multiple knives. So he could have been a dual wielding spider god, but this is not known to us. <laughs> um, so like this is a really awesome find. I just I just love yeah. that you know like monsters and gods always have this kind of like powerful presence drawn through societies that have never met each other all over the world right we're just really good at making up monsters yeah um so uh, the the experts on this theorize that this spider god was some kind of um ceremonial rain or water god because this this group of people was um the, a lot of their agriculture and everything comes from the ocean and fishing and there's there would have been a river here in the past but um we don't really know for sure Scientists like to say ceremonial when they find things they don't yeah. know what they are, right? Ceremonial ritual. Yeah, so- like like they have pottery from a couple thousand years uh, closer to our time um, mm-hmm. from these similar people, and they have spiders on them, and they're water, like, um, you know, pottery containers, so they assume that it's like a water god, but I don't know, maybe they have a really awesome story about spiders <laughs> bringing down rain. Maybe they yeah. just, maybe they call themselves the Spider Boys because they were like a gang. You know, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and then that with Anakin, you know, kind of duplicating the Luke Skywalker role, but we don't really know, right? Like, I mean, like the first image we have of um, the Jesus character is uh, like graffiti of somebody making fun of the uh, Roman donkey headed one, right? Yeah, ma- yeah, making ki- calling him a donkey. Basically, <laughs> it's graffiti, right? So, like, yeah. I-, I think sometimes. Um, what anthropologists assume everything is very kind of like sincere and has like an important meaning behind and, it and sacred, but sometimes we do stupid stuff. Yeah. I mean, like if, if um, anthropologists in the future saw what we do, like would the, would they understand what Dick butt meant? Like <laughs> there, there's a really good um, book about this. What is it called? It's like a satirical book. It's like archeology span of a motel or something mm-hmm. where like they had archeologists dig up like a, a motel like archaeo- future archaeologists like thousands of years in the future oh that's um, fantastic and in the book they're like they've got like a toilet seat and said it was like a ceremonial crest or something yeah, yeah. and it was like I, it's essentially like them going through a motel and, and going through all these weird because yeah, the toilet seat is like the yoke that you put on an ox so a right. leader would wear it around his neck to symbolize that he was carrying the burden for his people stop this is making too much sense <laughs> See, it's, what I'm like, it's so easy to build these connections you know like um but i just thought this was a fantastic story unfortunately a lot of the um actual image of this um spider knife wielding god um was destroyed by the farmer um oh, dang. yeah so we don't exactly know like how much of this he knew he was destroying or not you know and if he had he didn't necessarily have permission to be excavating this particular area um i mean i'm sure he's just wanting to make his farm to make yeah. money so i'm not trying to diss the guy but it's really unfortunate because there's so much stuff lost in our past and you really need to be careful when you're in these kind of like ancestral areas digging around right uh, you, and you can really destroy stuff yeah that's the thing is uh we we talked about this uh, it's like that uh was it monsters inc <laughs> it's a musical <laughs> yeah put that thing back where it came from or so help me so help me so help me and <laughs> yeah whenever you find something leave it 
Yeah, in don't, context don't, of it, you don't don't bury it or anything. Just yeah, because archaeology and paleontology, anthropology, a lot of it's about being careful. You yeah. know, it's it's not Indiana Jones. The Nazis are not going to be out on your tail. You can't just grab stuff out of places and then destroy them afterwards. Yeah, 